Hey, everybody. Um, I have a few minutes here, so I want to do a little thing on um, bone broth. So I was talking to some people this morning, and uh, they just wanted to know um, how to start making some simple changes in their nutrition. Sorry, I want to bring my camera around. Um, and the simplest thing that I had just told them, I was like, let's look at adding in some bone broth into your nutrition plan. Um, we can look at bone broth fasting and that type of stuff, but the easiest thing is let's just add in some bone broth, and it's super simple to make. But there's so many healing nutrients um, when you start looking at like the cartilage and the bone marrow and everything like that, that is actually in um, within the animal. And so we are at a point in, in our society where we just eat like basically the protein, the meat, um, the muscle fibers for, of our animals. But back in the day, we used to eat all aspects of that animal. Like we didn't waste anything. And so one of the things that's super easy, and I love this book for any of you guys that are in the practice, the super nutrition for babies. I love it. There's some really great recipes in here for adults, but so much of it goes back to healing a gut and healing our leaky guts, which everybody has. Like if you eat sugar, you've opened up basically the junctions within the gut wall. Um, if you've been on antibiotics, anything like that, you've had issues. And so what happens is as you eat, you digest your food in your stomach and then it starts going through the colon. And if these leaky junctions aren't, if they're open instead of tight like that, guess what happens? Toxicity and food particles and that type of stuff can kind of leak back through. And that will cause a lot of brain fog, irritation, just achiness, inflammation. It can cause all sorts of stuff. And so most people have got some sort of leaky gut that we need to heal. So there's different products that we utilize I really love Restore. That's one of them um, that really, it, what it kind of undoes some of the damage from genetically modified foods that people are eating. GMOs, if, even if you are 100% organic, um, the Roundup basically is what it is for Monsanto, is in our rainwater now. So even if you're eating 100% organic, it's still getting onto our products. So how do you make bone broth? I'm going to keep this really simple. I want you to go find some grass fed, some organic um, bones because we're going to be pulling a lot of the fat from the cartilage and from the bone marrow. Um, fat is what holds on to our toxins. So I don't want you to get like a regular old cow that's got all sorts of hormones and everything else in it. Um, artificial stuff from the outside in, non-organic. I want you to go find a grass-fed organic um, organic bones. You can find, if you find somebody that's a butcher, you can find it that way. Our local grocery store here in Ann Arbor, you can buy them. Like five, six years ago, before people were talking about bone broth, I could buy them for 50 cents to a dollar. Now they're like four, five, six dollars, so they're definitely a lot, a lot more expensive. What you do, you're going to have those bones, and so I don't have any pictures of them, but um, maybe I'll go live at home sometime and actually show you all these. Just what I want you to do is grab a crock pot and put them with about an inch of water in it, so just like enough. Um, a little bit of water, put those bones in your crock pot, and then I'm going to have you throw in some apple cider vinegar like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And what that's going to do, it's going to help pull out some of the minerals out of that. But I'm going to let you just let that set there for like an hour or two. And then after it's sat there like that, don't turn on the crock pot. So they're just, I mean, for an hour, whatever, even if they're frozen, basically I'm pulling them out of my freezer and doing this. Then fill up your crock pot with good water, like not tap water, but good, you know, good quality water. And then what do you do? Turn on that crock pot, pot crock pot. 24 hours, 48 hours, however long. But what you're going to see, it's not the best smelling stuff. You'll get used to it. But it's going to help pull out some of the great nutrients that are in those bones. You're going to have your own bone broth for whatever you want to make, for soup stocks, for all of that stuff. But I will do, like, during the wintertime, I have it going a lot. Like, I'll make it up, I'll freeze it up, and then I just pull them out so that way I have them all year long. But simple, easy way. And then you can add in different things. You can use, I'll, I use a lot of good quality essential oils into my stuff, um, but you can use your garlic and your you know, onions and all that stuff and add it up to flavor it up. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if there's some questions, I'll get them answered. You guys have a fantastic day.